Hi, I'm Kidda Suleiman here for the Enquirer.net and I'm here with the brand new 2011 Ford C-Max. Now this may look like an ordinary five-door vehicle but it comes packed full of technology and I'm going to take you through some of the key features. Now one of those is the ability to parallel park hands-free. Yes, I said hands-free, so I'll be showing you that. And you can also connect your smartphones and your MP3 players wirelessly and then control them with voice commands. So let's take a look inside. So here we are inside the Ford C-Max and I'm going to show you some of the cool features. First of all, the car only comes with the remote control, there is no key. And to start the car you actually just have to have this in the vicinity of the car and then depress the clutch and the brake and then push the power button, otherwise it won't start. Now when you put the car into reverse, the park pilot automatically shows up and the car will start beeping when you are near another obstacle and uh, it will give you the green, yellow and red warning lights to make sure that you don't hit anything. And let's try out the, uh, the automatic parallel park now. So I'm just going to start driving. I'm going to switch it on just by pushing the button there. So it's going to start detecting parking spaces now. Now, I will still have to control the brake and the accelerator and the clutch, but the car will do everything else hands-free. So there we go, it's just detected the parking space here. And it wants us to drive forward a little bit. And now we're ready to park the car. So I've just, I've been told to put it into reverse. I've got my hands completely here. And I'm just controlling the clutch and the accelerator now and the car is doing all the steering. Now we are going uphill and we are going over a bump as well so this isn't the easiest of parallel parks but the car seems to be coping quite well just gently easing us in, there goes the sensor and now I'll just put it into first gear because it wants to go forward And finally, just wants to go backwards a little bit. And it's finished. So let's see how it's done. So as you can see, we have a perfect parallel park here. There's minimal space between the wheels and the curb. And the space between the two cars was actually very tight as well. Um, and we also parked the car going uphill and it had to go over a speed bump. So it managed to cope very well with that. Now the feature does cost just over £500 as an added extra, but as you can see, um, you know, it's helped avoid us scuffing these 17 inch alloys. And it's not, we, we do have to point out that it's not going to be perfect every time because you will be controlling the clutch and the speed of the car. So there will be occasions where you do hit the curb and sometimes you do have to use your common sense to override the, the feature because it, it might start reversing um, when it's not supposed to so it's not perfect but it is a very good start for Ford and it will come in very handy